changing climate conditions, it is getting more and more important for scientists to study and know what insects are out in the landscape. Within British Columbia, there are several insect species that damage agricultural crops. Entomologists are currently studying these species as a way to find the best ways to mitigate the damage to crops and to monitor these pest populations. One method to collect insects is the use of a pitfall trap. Pitfall traps are small pits made to capture smaller organisms, including insects that make their living on the ground. Although there are several different designs for pitfall traps, they usually involve burying a cup in the ground with an opening that will ensure that insects can crawl in and get trapped. Generally, there is also something inside the cup to kill insects once inside. There's also usually a cover to minimize disturbance and prevent trapped insects from getting out. Researchers can use these traps in a variety of areas, depending on what species they are targeting. When scientists are using pitfall traps for a larger study, they will often place them in a systematic way. Multiple might be set up in a line or in a box configuration with a predetermined spacing in between them. Once the traps are set up, researchers will return to collect the samples from the traps and take them back to the lab for future identification and study. Anyone can set up these traps to monitor or discover what insects or pests are in their fields with the proper materials and a little time. This basic design has several key pieces, a plastic cup with a lid, a hole punched out to make spaces for the insects to crawl in, and a water and RV antifreeze mix of three parts water to one part antifreeze. This mix between water and antifreeze is non-toxic, but alternatively dish soap mixed with water can be used instead. The first thing that needs to be considered before setting up your traps is to make sure you set up at the right time of year. Generally, you can set them up between May and September, but if there's a species in particular you're looking for, you should research when they are most active on the ground to increase your chances of catching them. You will then need to decide where and how to set up. You may have several areas you would like to monitor for insects, but if you're targeting a pest species, make sure that the traps are set up in productive areas of the field where you have the most potential to catch them. The materials needed for setup include a trowel, your plastic cup that has the hole punched out, small rock, some way to mark the spot, and the pre-prepared antifreeze solution. The first step is to dig a hole the depth of your cup in the ground and place the plastic cup in so the punch-up holes are at ground level. You will then need to pack as much dirt around the cup as needed to keep it secure. Fill the cup halfway with your antifreeze mix. Place the cup lid with the rock on top to minimize disturbance. If you want to locate the trap easier when you return to collect it, paint the rock or ribbon it. When you are ready to collect your insects, retrieve your cup and record what you find, including the date, where you found it, and what you think it might be. If you cannot identify the insect yourself in the field, you can use the strainer, tweezers, and container to collect your insect. You can later store it in the freezer for future identification. Just make sure that there's a label inside which includes the date and location. You can identify it yourself or reach out to the entomology community for assistance. Pitfall traps are a very useful tool for both scientists and farmers to determine which insect species are in the fields of British Columbia. By setting up traps in your own fields, you not only can figure out what pests might possibly be harmful to your crops, but contribute to a changing understanding of what insect communities are present around the region. With shifting climate, species are being found in new areas and it is now more important than ever to set up a monitoring of species to ensure the future health of both our crops and the insects that are so intertwined with them.